Previously on Flips and Tips, we bought an old rusty patio set for 50 bucks. Now, we have to bring it back to life. And these have certainly seen better days. The six-piece patio set we bought only came with two beat-up cushions and is covered in rust and dust. In order to get the biggest bang for our buck, I had to go to OfferUp to find and purchase new cushions. Unfortunately, the only ones available had to come with a whole other patio set. Now, I have double the refurbishing work, but hopefully double the cash in the end. Both patio sets have quite the bit of rust and dirt, so the first step is to just hose off that muck. When cleaning the tables off, make sure to get both sides of the glass with a hose as dirt gets caked everywhere. Next is to hit the surface with some glass cleaner and give it a second wipe down. When necessary, purchase a replacement patio table plug. For a low dollar amount, you can really bring the table's look back to brand new. Next, to refurbish the chairs, we should always start with a drop cloth as paint tends to get everywhere. You will need a rust brush. They come in different sizes, but this one is a little bit larger to cover more surface area. Now I'm just brushing all the spots that show visible rust and then wiping off the residue with a damp rag. the paint, I did my best to try and match a photo of the chair to the spray paint cap. Now it's not going to be exact. Shake the can for at least 60 seconds before applying. Start by spraying at an even distance in broad yet slow strokes over the chair. I'm spraying at about two feet away to get the proper surface area coverage. I'm using a semi-gloss Hunter Green as I don't want it to be too shiny. I'm spraying all sides and focusing on the visible areas, not worrying too much about the rubber straps as they will be covered with cushions. For the silver table and chairs, I'm following a similar process, but not painting as much surface area of the chairs as they are in better shape than the green ones. The old cushions that came with the green table are still of value, so I'll hose them down and post them separately for $25. The cushions that came with the silver table are double-sided, so I'm making sure to thoroughly soak both sides with the hose. And now I'm ready to post both of these sets on OfferUp after just a few hours of refurbishing work. Check out that transformation! I still have my planner box that needs some work before posting, so I'll start by preparing it to be stained. First, I'm removing all the dry soil. The buyer won't want this stuff falling in their vehicle when they purchase it. 
Next, I'm doing a quick sand around the visible portions. Start with a pre-stain wood conditioner before actually staining. This prevents stain smudges and allows an even coat. Next comes a layer of stain. I'm using Minwax Provincial 211 for a lighter coat and making sure not to get any chemicals on the interior where the plants and soil will go. Lastly, I'm screwing back in the backstop board that fell off in transit so it can hang on a fence. After taking a few photos, I brought one into Photoshop to add some fake plant PNGs to give the potential buyer an idea of what it'll look like when it's filled. This is what I call selling on potential, and it worked as it sold for $75 fairly quickly. It's also time to take photos of both tables. I make sure to get all angles of the whole set, including glass and chairs. The gray set I'm hoping to pair with an umbrella that I have in my inventory, making it more appealing since it no longer has cushions. I start by editing my photos with the auto feature. This gives us a good base edit. Now I'll affect the highlights a little bit, bringing them down because the photos are so bright. I'll quickly go to the Vibrance, which controls all of the colors that aren't necessarily skin tones. Pretty much, it's saturation without the skin tones. I'll repeat this process for the remainder of the photos, adjusting some by looking at the content and seeing what looks best. Sometimes I'll crush the shadows a little bit more, making the blacks a little bit darker. But mostly I'll follow the same process, starting with auto and then taking it from there. I follow a similar editing process with the green table and post it on offer up in the furniture section with a glowing description, starting the bidding at $345. Now, that's a lot of money, but it gives me room to negotiate and still make a good profit. Thanks for watching, and subscribe now and stay tuned for the next episode of Flipman Dan to see what I sold both tables for.